Let's now see solved problem number 11 in subnetting. Let's dive into the question. The question is, suppose computers A and B have IP addresses 10.105.1.113 and 10.105.1.91 respectively. And they both use the same net mask N. Which of the values of N given below should not be used if A and B should belong to the same network? So, the question is very straightforward. There are two computers A and B and both the computers have their unique IP address and same subnet mask. And we are required to identify which subnet mask should not be used if A and B wants to be in the same network. And this question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2010. And let's see the options. Option A 255-255-255-0 Option B 255-255-255-128 Option C 255-255-255-192 and Option D 255-255-255-224. There are many ways to solve this problem. I will be projecting you two methods of solving this problem. Let's see the first way of solving this problem. And we know there are two computers. This is the IP address of A which is 10.105.1.113 and the IP address of computer B is 10.105.1.91. We are going to solve this using the table approach. These are all the values that are given in the options. That is, these are the subnet masks. Now let's check if this subnet mask is used for host A and B. Are they belonging to the same network or not? I have already solved this. Just see, the subnet mask is converted into octet. By considering the space limitation, I have taken only the third and fourth octet in binary. So we can notice that 255-255 is retained just like that. And this 255 is equivalent in binary is all 8 bits 1 in the 3rd octet and this is 0 in the 4th octet. Now, what is the subnet generator? When we move from the right, the first one we are encountering. The first one we are encountering is in the octet position. OP stands for octet position which is 3 here. And the subnet generator position in decimal is 1, right? The first one is in the decimal place 1. So the subnet generator is 1. And we know this increment, this subnet generator will be reflecting in the third octet position. So let's see, it's 10.105.1 and here also 10.105.1. So we will start with 10.105.1. If the first subnet starts with 10.105.1.0, add the subnet generator to the third octet because the octet position is 3. When we add the subnet generator to the third octet, if the first IP address will be getting this next subnet, just add 1 here, we'll be getting the next subnet and it goes on. And what is the ending address of the first subnet? Since the second subnet starts with 10.105.2.0, the previous subnet will be obviously ending with 10.105.1.255. We have already solved some problems using this approach. Now the first subnet is 10.105.1.0 to 1255 we know this is the first address which is the network address, this is the broadcast address. But we can notice here 10.105.1.113 is falling in this subnet. At the same time 10.105.1.91 is also falling in this subnet range. So obviously when we apply this subnet mask for these two hosts, obviously they are in the same network. Let's now move on to the second option which is 255, 255, 255, 128. Now, when we convert this into binary, we will be getting 255, 255, 255 in binaries, all bits are 1. But due to the space constraint, I am not using this because this problem is going to be addressed in the 4th octet, right? So, we are just taking the 4th octet. Just see, the 4th octet is 1 followed by 7 zeros because the decimal place is 128. Now, what about the octet position? The first one we are encountering when we move from the right is this one. So, this is in the octet position 4 and the decimal place of this one is 128. So, the subnet generator is 128. Now, the starting of this IP address is 10.105.1.0. Add the subnet generator to the octet position 4. So, when we add 128 to this fourth octet position, we'll be getting the next subnet's first address, which is 10.105.1.128. When we add 128 to this place, we'll be getting 256 where 256 is not a valid entry of an octet in an IP address. Obviously, this will be 0 and the previous octet will be 1. That is, the third octet will be incremented by 1. So, the next address will be 10.105.2.0. 
and the next address will be 10.1.5.2.128 because we are going to add this 128 to the fourth octet in the previous subnet. So the ending of the first subnet will be 1.127 because the next subnet starts with 1.128. So this continues. Now let's analyze whether 113 and 91 are falling in the same subnet. Yes, obviously they are in the same subnet. So from 1.0 to 1.127 they are belonging to subnet number 1. Though 1.0 and 1.127 cannot be used for the host, but this computer is using 113 and this computer is using 91. So that's perfectly fine as far as first subnet is concerned. So obviously when we go for this subnet mask, this computers A and B are also belonging to the same network. Now let's move on to the third option which is 255.255.255.192. We will now explore things. So when we convert this into binary for 192, we will be getting 11 in this fourth octet, right? When we move from the right, the first one we encounter is here, right? This is the first one we are encountering. And the decimal position of this first one is 64. So the subnet generator is 64 and the octet position is 4. And we will be getting the subnet ranges as 10.105.1.0 .1 to 63 in one subnet, 64 to 127 in the next subnet and it goes on. Now let's see, where is 113? 113 is in the second subnet. And where is 91? 91 is also in the second subnet. That's not an issue. Because when computer A and B wants to be in the same network, here subnet 2 is preferred. That's not at all a problem. So obviously, computers A and B are in the same network. If we go for the subnet mask 255.255.255.192. Yes, they will be in the same network if we go for this subnet mask. And the only option which is left is option D, which is 255.255.255.224. Let's explore things now with this subnet mask. When we convert this into binary, we will be getting 255.255.255 all once in the first three octets, but we are mainly focusing on this octet. So when we convert 224 into binary, this octet looks like triple one five zeros. And what is the octet position? It's 4. Octet position is 4 and the subnet generator is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. The first one we encounter when we move from the right to the left. So the subnet generator is 32 and we'll be obviously getting 32 IP addresses in every subnet. So the first subnet will be from 10.105.1.0 to 31. The second subnet will be from 32 to 63. The third subnet will be from 64 to 95. And the fourth subnet will be from 96 to 127. And it goes on. Now let's see in which subnet this first IP address, that is the IP address of A is falling. It is 113. When it is 113, it is falling in the fourth subnet. Can you see 113 is between 96 and 127. And what about the IP address of B? The IP address of B is 91, where 91 is not falling in the fourth subnet. Rather, it is falling in the third subnet. I hope you are clear with this. So, when we use this subnet mask, this IP address is in fourth subnet and this IP address is in third subnet. So, obviously, computers A and B will not be falling in the same subnet if we go with the subnet mask 255.255.255.224. So, obviously, we cannot use this subnet mask if these two computers with this predefined IP addresses wants to be in the same network. So we got the answer. In this question, we are intended to find which subnet mask should not be used. So the subnet mask which should not be used is 2 to 4. We will go to the question now. Option D is the right answer. So if we use this subnet mask, A and B will not be belonging to the same network. As I already mentioned in the commencement of this lecture, we have many ways to solve this and this is one of the ways to solve. There is another way to solve this. Let's see the other way of solving this. Just take this subnet mask, take this IP address and calculate the network ID or the network address. How can we calculate? Convert this into binary, convert this into binary, perform bitwise and we will be getting the network address and place this network address aside. Similarly, take this IP address and take this same subnet mask in the option A, calculate the network address for the IP address of A and the IP address of B with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. If we get the same network address, obviously they will be belonging to the same network. In this question, option A subnet mask will give the same network address for both the IP addresses mentioned in the question. 
Likewise, option B will also give the same network address for both the IP addresses and option C will also give the same network address for both the IP addresses mentioned in the question. The computers in the same network will be giving the same network address and will be getting the different network ID or the different network address when we calculate the network address by taking this subnet mask with the IP addresses mentioned in the question. So I request you to try this approach and post your answer in the comment section by just applying this bitwise and operation technique. I hope you guys enjoyed this lecture and thank you for watching.